12 was obviously inspired from the Dark Stalker series, since he has an air dash, super weird animations, and even an invisibility taunt. All very unique aspects in a Street Fighter game. His normals are actually okay. Moves like Far Medium Punch and Light Punch are decent pokes, but he's especially good at controlling the air, with huge buttons like Jumping Heavy Punch and Heavy Kick that cover a large horizontal or vertical range. His specials are also very good at annoying opponents. Needle is a good long-range poke, whilst Axe and Dra can be troublesome to deal with. If you look at the character without any life bars on the screen, you might not even realize what makes 12 bad. And then you notice, everything he does inflicts so little damage. 12 does what feels like 40% less than what he should be doing. Probably on purpose, since the developers were afraid that his kit could be a problem. He also has basically no combos, no useful cancels, and for some reason, his only light chain is a two-frame link. 12 supers are also gimmicky, except for Super Art 1, XNDL, which is the only decent one in a competitive setting. Though there is the joke that turning into another character with X copy is actually his best super, which um, has some truth to it. 12 is basically a huge bag of tricks and gimmicks, but unlike good gimmicky characters, he does no damage at all. And more than that, 12 even has lower defense than most characters, meaning he generally has to hit opponents five or six times more than they hit him. The character is weird, fun, and flies around, sure, but that's unfortunately not enough to compensate for all of his shortcomings. If you like to flap around and generally be useless and annoying though, give 12 a chance. <laughs> you win. Thank you for watching. This Third Strike series is made possible by our collaborators, Claw and Fugo, as well as our generous patrons. For $1 a month, you can get early access to videos, as well as your name listed here. Up next is the apprentice Shoto, Sean.